visiting Taipei, already been to 101, ate your way through Xilin and done Jufen, before you head back home, you better get some snacks that Taiwan is most famous for as souvenirs. But with so much to choose from, what most represents Taiwan? That has to be pineapple cakes. But which is best? This was my second trip to Taipei and on my first trip I must have been to at least 10 different pineapple cake places. This time I revisited them again and will show you what I think are the best four and some that I came across that you probably shouldn't waste your money on. Let's start by giving you a very brief history of why Taiwan is famous for pineapple cakes. Once upon a time Taiwan had an oversupply of pineapples so they needed a solution that could use the excess supply and ensure it won't go off quickly. So some clever guy came up with the idea to turn pineapples into jam and then the pineapple cake was born. So in no particular order, let me show you the four I would recommend. Chiate is infamous as the most popular brand and signified by the queues outside before it even opens. This was at 8.15 and the store opens at 8.30. Established in 1975, they won the first place in the Taipei Pineapple Cake Festival in 2006 and subsequent awards in 2007, 2008, 2010 and 2012. No taste testing here, I guess either because people who go here know exactly what they want or they are just too busy to offer tasters. Although they are famous for their pineapple cakes, don't miss out on their wife cakes and son cakes which were sold out within 20 minutes of them opening on the two occasions I went there. They even go so far as to limit each person to two boxes. Chiate is just a five minute walk from the Nanjing Sanmin station on the Songshan Xindian line. Next we have the longest established shop called Li Chi. Supposedly established in 1894, it's hard to imagine this place with so much heritage as the shop mixes traditional and modern looks. It was spacious with no queues to get in. It had tasters on the side for you to try before you buy. It's a 10 minute walk from Songjiang Nanjing Station, also on the Songshan Xindian line. Next up we have Sunny Hills. This is probably the one that exudes the most upmarket feel of the four, from the artistic feel on the outside to the well dressed stuff inside. This place is unique in that as soon as you enter, you are invited to have a seat and are presented with a sample of their signature pineapple cake and some oolong tea. The first time I encountered this was quite unexpected as you get this treatment if you buy something or not at all. And I actually witnessed someone who may be local finish and just walk out. I don't know if this marketing trick works, but on both occasions, I felt compelled to buy something although there was absolutely no obligation to do so. A major negative for Sunny Hills is that it's tucked away in a residential area and about a 16 minute walk from Taipei Arena Station. So on this occasion, we just took a taxi there as by European standards, the taxis are cheap. The last one I will introduce to you is a store right next to the infamous breakfast spot, Fuhang Soy Milk. It's only open between 9.30 and 1.30 Although the one I'm showing you is the main store which is open all day and is only a five minute walk away. This is another store that's steeped in history since 1899. Fuji or Man Futang is currently managed by the fourth generation. Amongst other awards, in 2009 their pineapple cake won the gold award. The nearest station to both of these is Shandao Temple. So enough on the stores, how does each of the cakes taste? And in fourth place, Fuji or Man Futang. Aesthetically, this was the least attractive. Not because it looked bad, but because it had the darkest pastry. It didn't affect the taste at all, but I just found it a bit dark when compared with the rest. Out of the four, this had the sweetest filling, and I found the inside texture the most dense, and the pastry was the firmest. If you have a sweet tooth, this is probably the choice for you. Other things I bought was their sun cake made from Canadian maple syrup, which I wasn't too keen about, even though it was recommended to me. The pastry is nice and flaky, but I wasn't keen on the maple taste. Normal sun cake is made from malt sugar, and maybe I'm more used to that version. This is their Q cake, which contains mochi. 
It comes in taro, sesame, red bean and matcha. This one here is the red bean version. These were quite nice and had a chewy texture inside. My third choice would be Sunny Hills. This is a good solid all-rounder. Out of the four, the filling had the most fibrous texture, but nothing in particular really stood out to me. I would get this as a souvenir for someone because of the classy packaging or if you wanted to experience the Sunny Hills experience. I also bought the apple cake to try. It's okay. The pastry should be the same one that they use for the pineapple cake. To me, the apple filling didn't really stand out although the icing sugar on top gave it a nice contrast to the slight tartness of the filling. Out of the two, I would probably stick to the original pineapple cake. My runner up would be lychee. The pastry was the softest and crumbliest, sort of melt in your mouth texture. The one I'm showing you now is the pineapple cake with egg yolk. The yolk gives it a nice crumbly, slightly salty texture to the cake. If you've ever tried moon cakes with yolk, then you will know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, it may be an acquired taste. My top choice is undoubtedly Chiate. There is a reason for the daily long queues, and out of all the pineapple cakes, this brand has the most buttery taste pastry. The original pineapple cake is a nice safe bet, although my preference is definitely the one with yolk. This is my personal preference, but a shortcoming is the yolk one only has a 15 day shelf life. Here I'm showing you the other varieties I bought. Cranberry, strawberry and melon. They're nice if you like that particular fruit, but the original is probably the best. Another definite recommend is the milk cake, which I got as souvenirs and everyone I got it for said they liked it. If you've tried wife cakes from Hong Kong, the pastry is similar to that, flaky and soft, and the filling is creamy and sweet without being overpowering. How much do I like Chiate over the others? This much. I bought so much for myself and as souvenirs that they had to pack it in a box and I shipped it as one of my luggage allowance. This is the tick sheet that they give out at the entrance so you can mark off what you want and here you can see the prices and what they offer. One thing I do want to point out at the top where it says free carton with a single purchase of 4,000 Taiwan dollars, which is about 100 UK pounds or 127 US dollars. I thought it meant we would get a free box of snacks, but no. The free carton they were referring to was just the cardboard box I just showed you, which in my mind is a bit stingy, considering the amount that you had to spend to get it. Let me show you a few of the other brands I bought. I got this bubble tea one in a department store. It's okay. It has a nice chewy texture, but I found it too sweet. It's only worth buying if you know someone who really likes bubble tea. And this one I got at the airport. I was enticed by the attractive packaging. And it was a charcoal pineapple cake, which is a lot different to the other ones. But I found it quite dry, and I certainly wouldn't recommend this one either. On an ending note, so yes in general I do like Chate the best, but taste is quite subjective, so your taste may be quite different. If you're going to Taiwan, then you can visit a few places to try yourself if they have tasters, or just buy one first to test if they don't. Let me know what your favourites are, and thanks for watching.